the thing I found to be the hardest was my own pain was somewhat invisible to me. Like I didn't know what it was. I didn't know it was there because it went invisible. So it's like you're getting distortions on distortions on distortions. Totally. And totally. uh, it's, it's actually yes. totally wild. And, and then you got 7 billion people with distortions all talking at once. And it's, it's actually a madhouse. Like we live in a madhouse. 10 years, 10,000 hours. The system works. Steph and Arnie works. We're all proven. What's not proven is you. And you got to respect the grind. The reason anybody listened to me was because I taught something that you will appreciate. Oh, well, now I, taught, now I want to know what that is. I want to know what ready? that is. Is it, is it I, get laid, get paid, live forever? That's what everyone's trying to buy. Um, it's, I certainly could get that to happen for a person. Oh, like see, now we're buying. <laughs> now we're buying. Okay, so, so what is it that everybody wants? Okay, no one knows how to keep a promise to themselves. They know how to keep promises to everybody else. Right. So I don't, I teach personal integrity, your ability to keep a promise to yourself. And most. I want to give you a gong. Should we give you, I'm, I'm giving you a gong for that. You know, say that again. So personal integrity is keeping a promise to yourself. Say that again. The whole world. Yeah. You no, know, feels obligated to keep promises to everybody else. Wow. Where we fucking suck is keeping promises to ourselves. It's the only thing I care about, which the reason you're going to find that cool and sexy is because mm -hmm. that's called discipline, Ooh, right? Freedom through discipline. Wow. ba doom -boom, right? Yeah, you know what? We should, we should gong that too. <laughs> wow. How does a person increase their integrity? Like I've got, let's say, young salesmen in my office. Here, here's a common one, and I'm sure the people at home can relate. I'm sure your clients can relate. So you know, we got a young salesman or young saleswoman, yeah. let's yeah. say he, he makes 40 grand a year shoveling dirt or, you know, sweeping the floors as last job. So he's making 40 grand a year for several years. He comes into the sales office, now commission, sky's the limit. And he says he wants to make a hundred grand. So he says, I want to make a hundred grand this year, but the previous experience says he's worth 40. And because, you know, history is so strong or the evidence in his mind is $40,000, instead of making a hundred, he makes 40. So what, what is the way that somebody like that changes their integrity so that they can increase their income or they can change their life like that? So the personal integrity is an ability to keep a promise to yourself. The way I get a person to keep a promise to themselves Mm -hmm. is one, I get them to make a shit ton of good promises. And I also make them put in consequences. Ooh, but don't. <laughs> and then the other thing I want to hit on is giving, giving to get. Talk to me about giving to get because that is, uh, that's almost like some laws of the universe stuff going on there. Yeah, they're really, I really do. In, entitlement, right? Like you feel entitled. We all feel entitled right? Mm -hmm. Or don't feel entitled. Like we all feel we know things and we earned it, right? We're not like, like we, re there really is a, like I read that book, so I have something to say about it, right? right? I know that person, so I have something to say about it. I, I do go for a run every day. I know how that feels, right? So mm -hmm. that's a give to get. Every one of those was a give to get. Mm. Right. If you're not getting something, the odds that you're not giving <laughs> are a hundred percent. If you're not getting something, I promise you're not giving what you have to give to get it. One of the things I teach is um, lineage, that history is repeating whether you like it, know it or not. Right. And so whatever your financial troubles are, whatever your love life troubles are, even how many abortions you may have had, you go, where did I, I'm original. And I go, no, you're not. Okay. Right. You're an apple off that fucking tree. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you just don't know the trees. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the, the more you understand your parents and everything about them, the more you can evolve the history. Mm. And one of the places we're really corrupt is in our sex lives and our love lives, right? And, you know, and, and the other thing I study, which is a big chapter in my book, is the end of lying, like cleaning up every last lie you tell, 
there are seven different ways we lie. Mm. Now this, seven I feel different, like I'm, I'm grabbing my pen here and I'm seven my different. Mallet. Okay, seven different and I and I differentiate them so that a person has to create a real lie list and go through the. I break life out into twelve different areas. Mm -hmm. And I expect an individual to dream in all 12, right? So I, I'm teaching separate areas of life to start to understand yourself in each area of life separately mm -hmm. versus glomming them all together. And then I want you to start to figure out all the different ways you lie and have lied throughout your entire life. And it's yeah. always in order to like say fit, like, like why you lie is very interesting and how you learn to lie is very interesting, but here's the type of lies, right? Okay. So they're really, I'll go from white lies. You look great when you thought in your head, you look like you gained five pounds, right? Okay. And we get away with social grease, like white little lies. How does that hurt, right? Also under white lies is, I'm sorry, I'm late. Traffic was terrible. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> like, shut up. Like, whatever, right? You left late, asshole, right? Like, you did not, right? You know, if you wanted to be on time, you could have, right? But I'm so sorry, I thought traffic, right? So white lies. <laughs> If you white lie to anyone, you make them more important than you. There's withholding information, mm. Mm -hmm. right? Like, yes, if I knew that information, I would think you owe it to me, right? This mm. is, you never, this is don't ask, don't tell, but, you, but I would think I had every right to know, right? right? But you never figured out to ask. So the right. biggest way humans lie is they withhold information and they think they're entitled to their secrets. Mm -hmm. Except if anyone knew that secret, they would be mortified. And then there, another name of, of this, like another brand of withholding, mm -hmm. is that people think they're entitled to take things to the grave. Ooh. Right, so it's another brand of withholding, but it's like, no, I'm taking that to the grave. Mm. Right, I'm never telling anybody that I really did that or didn't do that or said that or didn't say that or, Right, I'm going to the grave with that one. Yeah. Okay. Then there is exaggerating. Right? Hyperbole. It was the best party ever. Oh my God, I, got, I love you. Oh my, I love you right? so much. I love you. Oh my God, it was the best. Oh my God. Like, so some people can't tell a fucking story without making embellishing it. Under exaggerating. Ooh under exaggerating. So then you're scared that people are going to be jealous, competitive, like say so, like, so we even get weird when we do well. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. say, oh, I just made a bit of money. I just made a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I bought a house. Like you won't tell people how much, like, don't ask me how much I spent. Like people yeah. can be exaggerators or under exaggerators. Right. right? And then there's outright lies. Mm. Right? Oh yeah, I those are the best the, ones. Those are like I went to the movies with her, <laughs> right? And yeah. no, you were you were not at the movie. Well, right? I, I asked my assistant. I said, "She said, oh, I can't go out. I have to go to the gym." And I said, "I call her. How's the gym?" She's like, "Yeah, it was good." I'm like, "You didn't go. You, right. you just you didn't go." <laughs> right. That's an outright lie. It was good. Good. Yes. <laughs> no. No. It yes. Here's another one that humans are sneakily famous for and do on a regular basis. Um, misrepresent information. Ooh. So, oh, I loved that book, right? Now you think I read the whole book, but the truth is it's sitting on my closet, like it's sitting in my closet and I read 10 pages and read the back, right? right. But the way I talked about it Sound made like you, you think it. I know more than I do. So, oh, it's, so there's a level of social grease where you leave someone in a farce and it, you didn't, what? It's not my fault. Right. Right? Right? You go, oh, yes, I, I, yes we're friends. Right? <laughs> the thing I found to be the hardest was my own pain was somewhat invisible to me. Like, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know oh. it was there because it went invisible. So it's like you're getting distortions on distortions on distortions. Totally. And oh. uh, it's, it's actually yes. totally wild. And, and then you got 7 billion people with distortions all talking at once. And it's, it's actually a madhouse. Like we live in a madhouse. And then I can also tell you all different the lies I've heard over all my century. <sighs> yeah. I, I, That's I, hot shit. That's I, got, hot I got some lies too, but I also like to give it direct. So love you, girl. We'll see you later. Thanks so much. Respect the grind. Bye-bye. Respect the grind. Welcome to Respect the Grind with Stephen Arnie.